What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and I am making this loadout video because tomorrow I am going to Fallen Warriors Saturday, October 14th. I'm going to play at Fallen Warriors, dress up, green side if you want to play on my team, come say hi. I'm going to be there. I have not been to Fallen Warriors for about two or three years, so I'm super excited to go back. It's just hard with college. I'm only around in Columbus for about three months out of the year, so it just makes it a lot harder to be able to get out there. But I'm going to be going over my loadout for tomorrow because I get asked all the time, Alec, show me a loadout that's a little bit cheaper and not as expensive as something you have. So I'm going to try and do that today. But I use kind of the same things in Milsim and open plays. I just don't use as much gear, if that makes sense. So the first thing I have is a flight suit. Now, I bought this flight suit for about 40 bucks. It's super, super, super nice. It's a great flight suit. Uh, I got this one in green. However, you can get them in tan. So for tan, if I'm on tan team, I will run multi-cam. But if I wear a green, I'll wear this flight suit. So it's super comfy. I got a lot of pockets. I got some um, patch. If I want to put patches over here, I got zippers and stuff. So I'll put my dead rag in my leg pocket in the zippers. And then it's just something. It's breathable. It's warm when it gets cold. So if I want to wear like Under Armour under this, I can wear this over top. And it still stays warm because it's technically fire resistant. So if you're ever in where there's going to be a lot of fire or something, then wear this. Um, these things are super good. They have some like zipper pockets on the side. You have different pouches. Um, it's just nice to kind of have extra stuff. As like normal camo, you have this. The primary weapon that I'm using is my Vector. I'm super excited for this gun. I've not used it yet. This is my Crytek Vector. This is Ethan. Thanks, Ethan. This is the Crytek Vector. So I've not used this yet. I know this is a more expensive gun, but I actually only have two mags for it. So I have the original two, the original mag it came with, as well as the secondary mag that I got because it was pre-ordered off of Evike. So because of that, I also have an M4 style speed loader. So I'm going to be using a lot of, re I'm going to be doing a lot of reloading because I'm probably going to use a lot of rounds because I like shooting a lot. Um, but I'm excited to use this gun for the first time. I've done a video on this of the boxing, and then I'll do a more in-depth review on it as well. But I'm excited to get some gameplay footage of this. So I'm going to put my control roam up here and then get some video of me shooting it. But I also have another gun that I'm using. I have my pistol. So, and because I have that, I'm going to have my pistol. I have honestly more ammo with my pistol. So this is a race pistol I have currently been working on. Um, it's a Tokyo Marine High Kappa base. It's got Airsoft Surgeon Top. I have a Tough One Grip, and then I have some TAF Airsoft external parts. Actually going to put a trigger in here as well that has not been upgraded, but I'll do a video on this separately. And then I have three mags for my pistol. I wish there were more indoor fields and stuff around me. Unfortunately, there's not. I would use race pistols all the time if that's what was possible, but I play a lot of Milsim, a lot of outdoor, so unfortunately I cannot use uh, race pistols as much. But I'm excited to kind of try this tomorrow, see how it goes. I've been working on this. It's not complete yet, obviously, um, but kind of slowly but surely getting some stuff together and putting some parts on. So I'm going to go over my top loadout now. This is what I use on the top. So I have um, ESS goggles. You can get these ESS goggles, these ESS profile goggles on eBay for like $20 shipped. Rip out the foam on the top and these things are so, so, so good. I have the turbofan version of them, but honestly, all you need to play airsoft is goggles. You don't need any helmet, you don't need any face mask. As long as you have goggles to play airsoft, you will be fine. I do, however, run the same helmet almost every time because I have my mesh lower face mask wired into this. So I have my lower face mask um, in here so I can use the face mask together. I have it integrated into the helmet. So if I use the mesh lower face mask, I highly recommend using a mesh lower face mask. If you use one of these, it'll just save your teeth um, a lot. Like if you get shot and it's not fun to get shot in the face, but this is a very affordable hubba. So I believe this helmet is like, they have two versions. I think this one's like the $80 more expensive version. And they also have one that's like 40 bucks, but you can get, if you want to get a helmet, if your heart's set on a helmet, you can get helmets for pretty cheap. I have redone the padding system in here. One of the things I love more than anything is a Team Wendy pad set. I bought this for $15. These are like 55 normal, but on eBay they had them for 50 or 15 bucks. And it's super comfortable. It's way more comfortable than the stock set. I have run the same Oakley. You'll see a lot of this in my trend. I've run the same gear for so long because when I, I've been playing Airsoft for nine years. So about four years in, I just kind of dumped a lot of money and then I got the gear I wanted. And so for the past four or five years, I've been using a lot of the same gear. But these are Oakley hard knuckle gloves. I do, however, have some other gloves just to show off. You don't need uh, hard knuckle gloves or anything expensive. These are just some normal worker gloves, but they are helpful because I don't like getting shot in the hands. Honestly, the one part that hurts more than anything, I'd say, is the hands, the inner thighs. I've never gotten shot in the nutsack, thank the Lord, so far, and then also the back of the head or the ears. Another thing that I think would be really helpful is if you want to run something kind of like this. So this is a chest rig. This is what I ran for most of my time as an airsofter. At the beginning, I ran just a normal chest rig, 
um, and it works really well. Honestly, chest rigs work really well. However, I did upgrade to a Cry JPC because I was able to trade. However, any JPC, so Emerson JPC, they have some really cheap China ones. I know Evike, uh, they sell like the Avengers JPC, I think it's the brand they call it. So it's the Avengers JPC. Those are really cheap. If you want to invest in that, I would recommend investing in that because that plate carrier is going to last you for years. This has lasted me for four and it's real military spec, so it's going to last for a lot longer than that. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I will hopefully see you at Fallen Warriors. I'm going to be wearing this. So I'll see you there. And remember to give them the 40. Still don't understand that, but I do it for him.